So in a lot of ways, the most innovative or dramatic thing about Juno is the orbit. We're gonna orbit Jupiter in a way where we get to go very close to the planet, inside the radiation belts instead of outside the radiation belt. We're in a polar orbit, so by small adjustments of the timing, we can map the entire planet. We can get repeated stripes at different longitudes as Jupiter spins underneath us. It does mean that Juno is going to see the polar regions to a greater extent than with other spacecraft, but I think the most important thing is that it gets in very close to the planet uh, as part of that ellipse brings it in a few thousand miles above those cloud tops, very close, near the equator. We're gonna go over the poles of Jupiter. That means we can study the magnetosphere in a different way, where all the magnetic field lines come together, we get to see from Juno. This is the first time we're really using passive microwave radiometry and multiple channels to try to study the composition of, of an atmosphere, especially a giant planet like Jupiter, and that's new and unique. But in some ways, the most unique part of the Juno mission, the thing that really makes it stand out is just the orbit.